Well, I'm here to make sure yeah, you both the, have time. Basis, on the basis that, that uh, these uh, actually uh, uh, poor guys and laborers coming from abroad to, to Qatar because they are desperate to do so. Maybe yes, but why, why, this is my question, and this is a case that I've seen it in front of me, why you have to bring around 400 people, you contracted with them to work in Qatar for a project, and this project was not won on the tender, and you had to keep this guy six months without salary, and after you have to tell them, you want to leave, you can leave. So these guys have spent money, sold houses, took a, a debt on themselves, they borrowed money the, to right. come for okay. that. Okay. It has happened we've, here. We've, we've, had, we've, we've heard some examples. We've heard some examples. Right. Let me go to uh, a lady in, in the third row there, who's next to you. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Um, good evening. Um, I'm Qatari, and uh, this country has done so much for me that I really don't, and I don't think they've done it to shut me up. I think they've done it because they care about me. And um, thank you. My questions for the for those for the motion. Um, I've been I've been given a claim that our state uh, prefers profit over their people, and the only argument I'm getting is because of the labor workers. Do you have any other argument? I I I, I do um, agree that it's a fault, but there is a fault in every country. But do you have any argument to give me the claim that we yes. prefer let's profit? Hear from, let's hear let from me, can uh, we hear from Mansour uh, Al Jamri? Yeah. 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 First of all, there are about 35 million people in the Gulf Cooperation Council. About 40% of, the, of, of them are foreigners, which represent about 80% of our workforce. Uh, sooner or later, you will find this, this society is totally different to, from what you imagine, because we will become a minority, even if we are privileged or not. So uh, the new, the, the model that is being used, the, uh, the market forces model that is used in the, in, in, in the United States, Reagan time and Thatcher in the UK, where there is a trickle down effect, there is no trickle down effect effect here. It goes and it stays in pockets here and there. And if you come to the uh, to g g but that's country... that's the same in every society, no, isn't it? No, no, it's not. I mean, we, we, there, are, there, is, there is social protection. If you go to, if you go to the, uh, European countries and others, there's about 20, 20, more than 20% of government uh, finances is, is going into social networks to protect people equally. Over here, what you have, you have a distorted society of haves and have-nots. I'm sorry, Jamri, let her come back to you. Okay. But I've been given a claim yes. that I myself prof uh, um, uh, prefer prof profit over people. You're talking about everything that shows in the public. In my university, for instance, we have programs where we educate the workers, we, give, we, we teach them English. And that's the, something the, that the, we do. The, the general trend is not but what you are. I'm not saying that there, there does not exist uh, bright spots here and there. This is a bright spot, okay, but 70 percent of our fine, of our our our, man, our money in the Gulf goes into the buildings and real estates for developers. It doesn't come to you, basically, in terms of long to the wider public, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of everything that we aspire in the next 50 okay, years. I don't want this crowd to be misled by this, the, the bad treatment that the laborers get. Let's not forget that these workers remit from the Gulf $100 billion every year. There is no region in the world that not, does not care for profit. If you don't make profit, you don't employ your, your people. We cannot look at the people before the profit. They go together. We All cannot right. isolate. Okay. We'll take a question from the gentleman in the fourth row there, please. You, sir. Uh, hi, my name is Florent de Souza. I'm, I'm an Indian citizen. Uh, my question is for Dr. Mansour. Uh, we're talking about profit and the overall development and betterment of the people of the Gulf states. But uh, we are in complete disregard of a very important aspect of the economy and profit making. That's cost of living. And cost of living in the Gulf states is skyrocketing at the moment. Uh, uh, even though we have foreign investments and stuff like that. There's a dire situation when it comes to housing, uh, real estate, food supplies and costs are increasing exponentially. Okay, question are you please. Supporting? Are question. you supporting me? Uh, I want to know what you think about this situation no, for I the think, common man. He, and I, I think I, you're asking I to believe, the wrong people. I think uh, you I want think, to ask him. Yeah, sure. He does not want more developments Tarek to be built so no, that the cost I, uh, of living will keep on rising, in fact. <laughs> no, what I think is, I, I, can, I, can, I can comment on it. 
really the economic model. I'm not, say, I'm not talking about the politics now, which is wrong. It's the economic model is wrong as well. It is based on two factors for growth, oil prices and cheap labor. And take some of this oil, the income, and the silence uh, as a portions of your citizens. I think this is wrong. It is unsustainable because oils are volatile. They go up and down. We are starting to suffer now. They, they're telling us that we are immune from the global financial crisis. We're not immune. It's coming to us. It's already started to come to us. The other thing is that the cheap labor will not be cheap for long because the Indian economy is growing and they're going to be more experienced. They represent now a working class, a middle class, an upper class. And we represent, right. we, we as citizens of the Gulf represent a marginal class. It's, we have been okay. marginalized by, yeah. marginalized but, by right. the but, political uh, process. But Tim, the market, if, if if the labor costs go up, we will pay, they will pay up will high not, prices. Nobody pays them. Today, today the Gulf cannot they will have force the local no, workers. Please don't interrupt everybody. The Gulf Thank today you. cannot have, have workers. Where do you get these unskilled workers to build the buildings we are in today? The, the only way, this is the market. It's All right. a labor okay. market. All the right. labor market price Thank itself Thank you. on supply demand. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the point in the proceedings we are going to vote on the motion that this House believes that Gulf Arabs value profit over people. Now, let me just explain a bit about the voting machines. If you want to vote for the motion, that is the side represented by Najib al-Noemi and Mansour al-Jamri, you will press button one. If you want to vote against the motion, the side represented by Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Thani and Tariq Yusuf, you press button two. And would you please press your appropriate button now? You only need to do it once. All right, the vote should be there now. So, we have 75% for the motion. 25% against the motion has been resoundingly carried. All it remains for me to do is to thank our distinguished panel for appearing. Thank you very much thank indeed. You. Thank you to you, the audience, for your questions. The Doha debates will be back again in January. Till then, from all of us on the team, thank you for coming. Have a safe journey home. Good night. Thank you.